Okay, it's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's a drone. Coming to a neighborhood near you now, you may have seen them already, but while they seem like amateur fun, they could mean some serious business and big money for you. So joining me now this morning is our friend, local realtor, Kara Amir. Thanks for coming on. Great to you see know, you. know, a couple years ago, we started to hear about the drone business and being used in realty. Now, if you look at any listings, it looks like more than half of them use drones. Drones are becoming very big. I mean, with the explosion of the Internet and all of that, the buyers are demanding more. Real estate is viewed from the ground, but that doesn't mean the marketing has to be done from that. And the drone really helps put that property in a broader context. And it's especially important if you have something to show off besides just the inside of the home, if you've got a big property, if you've got a uh, pool, stuff like that, right? Absolutely. I mean, that's really what the drone uh, has a great use for is helping to showcase that property. If it's near a coastline or a waterway, if it's got some great amenities and just getting up off the ground really helps put it in perspective, especially if the community has amenities and it's close to a beach because those are all great selling features. Okay, and Kara, some people are worried about drones because they don't know all the rules and they don't want to get in trouble with the FAA. Can they be used for all listings? Well, they can be, but you have to be careful that your drone operator has the proper certifications because there's a new rule that just went into effect by the FAA this month for a uh, remote pilot uh, certificate that allows somebody to operate a drone for commercial purposes. You have to register it if it's 55 pounds or less. You have to agree to certain guidelines. For example, you have to stay below 400 feet. You have to stay within certain distances of people and airports and stay out of restricted airspace. So what you're saying is you, the realtor, and the homeowner, y'all aren't going to be out there flying them no, yourself. No, no, don't try Spend this at home. Spend some money, yes. make it an investment, and get somebody who's Definitely. legit. Well, there's pretty s steep penalties <laughs> if you are just think you're going to skirt the FAA and do this. I mean, there's civil penalties that are like $27,500. Yeah, that's criminal, not good for your yeah, bottom line. Criminal penalties <laughs> that are several hundred thousand dollars, and you could land yourself in prison. Okay, so <laughs> we're not just talking about the legalities. When is it not good maybe to show your property uh, for a drone? Like if you got a bad roof or... Yeah, I mean, it's not for everything, right? I mean, so if your property really doesn't have any views, if it backs up to other homes, if you're near maybe a cell tower or a railroad track or a busy road, that's probably not something you exactly want to show off. But if you do do drone photography, remember, it's unforgiving. So you want to check that roof out before you have a, a drone go up in the air and circle around your property. Make sure your trees are trimmed and the yard looks good. Mm -hmm. So do a little bit of... Uh homework before. Staging on the outside Literally. as well as the inside, right. And where do you find somebody in our area to do this kind of work for you? Well, there are quite a few people that are doing it. Um, online research, asking professional realtors. Uh, there are companies that do have an established website. You need to look at that. Again, make sure that they are properly licensed, insured. Ask to see samples of their work because just because somebody can operate a drone doesn't mean that they necessarily how, know how to shoot the photo and video to tell the effective story for the property that you want to create. Right, and real quickly, I know you've hired some before. What's ballpark? What what should most people be paying for your basic drone work? Well, costs start in the for a few hundred dollars for drone photography, and then it goes up for video. And obviously, if you're going to do a more extensive shoot that involves the area or coastlines or maybe sunrise, sunset, you can expect to spend upwards of a couple thousand dollars. So I'd say anywhere between five hundred and two thousand dollars is kind of a range, but, but it could vary. And still cheaper than the old days when for big properties they'd fly a plane or a helicopter. Definitely over. <laughs> a lot less expensive and better quality camera work too. Okay well thanks so much for coming on we appreciate it. Good to Welcome. see you Good as always. You. If you are looking for other advice on everything related to your home we have the resources for you. Check out the Angie's List section under the entertainment tab.